Welcome to Thad's Thing, where we try something new every day. Let's go. Okay guys, we're out here, hashtag vlogging. Welcome to another vlog, everybody. Today, I am trying cake decorating, or more specifically, cupcake decorating. So I'm taking frosting and putting it fancily onto the cupcakes. And so I'll keep you posted on that journey. I'm gonna try some different designs using a piping bag, which I have never done before, but you always see on the cooking shows, so it should be cool. I'm excited because they always do it on the cooking shows, and I think it would be cool to like feel like I'm a baker, uh, not a baker, a frosting person. <laughs> um, I am nervous though, that, you know, I'll just get super stressed or my hand will shake a ton or I won't be good at it or I'll get frustrated in the process. So we'll just see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. Okay, so we got out some bags and lots of different tips. That's like almost an overwhelming amount of tips. I have some mini ones to practice on and I have 24 big ones that I'm gonna be decorating. So I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, so I chose my tips and I have to choose colors next, but this tip is kind of like a many layered star tip, I guess you could say. This one is like a pinwheel or something like that. This one has very sliver like star features, so that'll be interesting. And then this one is circle, so I'm going to be able to do interesting things with that. Two bags are loaded now, our blue and our green, and I still have to load one bag with this sugar-free chocolate frosting, and then one bag with this lemon frosting. So you'll see them when they're loaded. So I have taken the bag and kind of folded it outside so that I have it to the max fill line so that I can stick the frosting directly into where I need the frosting. So I'm gonna get a big scoop of lemon frosting out of here. And then I'm gonna try to get it in this hole. Yeah. It's quite the learning experience. It's going to take a few more scoops, but I'll let you know when these next two bags are full. Just wanted to let you in on at least the part of the process. Okay, four bags are loaded and some test dots and lines. Now I'm going to move on to my practice mini cupcakes with some dots. So here are my practice cupcakes. I tried out a few different designs and just things and colors and stuff. So I think I have some ideas for what I'm going to do. And I'm gonna move on to my two dozen cupcakes that I need to decorate. Okay, I did my first two cupcakes with two different designs using the chocolate frosting. I think I'm gonna duplicate that with the chocolate frosting on chocolate cupcakes. Here's an aerial view of what I've done so far. I'm going to venture into the land of color. Wish me luck. Okay, so I've been experimenting with some things like these, I tried doing bigger dollops of circles instead of teeny, super tiny ones like I did maybe more over there, or really over there, those were tiny. And over here I tried to do like, you know, stripes, which is kind of interesting because when you're not doing a continuous swirl, it kind of made it hard, but you know, I'm testing things out and I have plenty of cupcakes left to do. Here we go, the platters are shaping up. I have done so many by now, so I have four cupcakes left and I have a lot of lemon frosting, so I'm going to see how many different things I can do with lemon frosting on the ones I have left. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to do a swirl on this one, and you have to hold it steady, and you have to move steady, which the moving steady, and actually just the moving circular is the hard part for me. Sometimes I kind of make a little bit more of an oval, but then doing the little up part is kind of fun. So that's a day in the life of one cupcake. Guess what? I finished all of the cupcakes. It was actually super cool to get to try out different things. I'll show you what I did on some of the last ones. On this yellow one, I did a big kind of dab in the middle where I just left it in place and let it kind of billow out. And then I circled around it to fill in the rest of the gaps. 
And this one I just did classic circles. You watched me make that one. And then over here on this one, I did side to side swirl. And I actually thought that was kind of a cool idea. And if it was like a true artist that had done it, I think it would look pretty spectacular. So here are my cupcakes. I love a finished product. So now that I'm done with my hobby experience, I'm gonna try one of my practice cupcakes, those mini cupcakes, because I actually was able to make the real cupcakes for a party at my house tomorrow. But these mini ones were literally just practice, and I baked all the cupcakes today, mini and regular, but these ones didn't have pup cake papers, and so the bottom half kind of got stuck to the pan. But I'm gonna taste. And look at that. It's kind of good practice. I definitely recommend. Okay, so I finished my cake decorating hobby, or should I say cupcake decorating hobby, and I just want to let you know how it went. I actually enjoyed it. There's some pros, cons. Pros, it's actually really fun to get to choose a design and get to choose what tip you're going to do to try to make a design and choose what color and flavor and all that and kind of do the mix and match. That is super fun. The con is it takes so much, like, getting the frosting into the bag and like mixing the colors in and then frosting it's everywhere and you just have to clean everything so there's like pros and cons the experience is enjoyable i think it would be fun to do again and i probably will i think cupcakes were definitely way more doable than a cake so i'm glad that i chose cupcakes anyways this is actually my last hobby vlog for you guys which actually is kind of sad for me because I really like not only recording these because I feel so cool with my hashtag vlogger stuff, but I also actually enjoy getting to put together the vlogs and be creative with that. So maybe you'll see another vlog from me sometime. I don't know. But for now, go like, comment, and subscribe. That's Thad's Things.